Hey everybody, Black Ninja 7 here, and today's video I'm going to be talking about a rumor that's been going around regarding Blackout and Black Ops 4. We have not really heard any news about Blackout, and so now there's finally some leaks going around talking about how the, the game mode is going to play. I'm going to be talking about these leaks uh, in today's video with you guys just because I want to hear your thoughts and opinions since there's nothing really else off, uh, you know, to go off of. So I'm going to be talking about these uh, leaks. Now these leaks aren't confirmed by any means, so this is just uh, speculation, but it is good to theorize uh, you know, what it's like, at least just for now until we get some more information. So let's read off what Charlie Intel has actually posted, because this comes from the man himself. So it says here, uh, it's going to be the largest map in Call of Duty history, you know, go figure, and like we don't want it to be like nuked out for like Battle Royale, that would make any sense. But uh, it does focus on verticality, which I do not like the sound of that, because that reminds me of uh, Advanced Warfare all over again, so no thank you. The only verticality I want, like Thunder says, and I completely agree with him, is just when I'm on my parachute, that's all I want. Um, it's going to have um, a whole bunch of iconic maps inside of it, such as Nuketown, which is located in the middle, and it's on an island surrounded by water. So Nuketown is basically like the loot lake of the map, I guess. Which is good, because honestly a lot of people would have gone to Nuketown no matter what anyways, just because of Nuketown. And uh, it says it's actually going to be uh, the layout and theme of Nuketown and Blackout will be like Nuketown Zombies from Black Ops 2. So it's going to be destroyed and it's going to be, you know, all uh, barren and everything. It's not going to look like the, you know, the happy sunshine rainbows Nuketown that we're used to. Um, currently it's uh, aiming for 50 players for Blackout, but it's currently testing 64 players right now and has plans to increase if possible. So, so far we have half of the, uh, you know, uh, wanted number for Battle Royale for Blackout. They're going to be aiming for 64 next and they're going to try uh, more after that. The health uh, system is 150 HP. Um, the current health in Black Ops 4 is multiplayer is 150. They did that for rounding off, you know, for numbers, multipliers for like gun bouncing and stuff. So if you already know about that, then you know that there's just basic health then. Um, you can uh, replenish this via uh, scaven uh, scavengeable medical kits. And uh, equipping scavenger armor will allow uh, one, uh, one extra shot to players. So it's like armor, I guess. Uh, or ballistic vest, and you can get um, armor piercing rounds which counter the effect of this. So, uh, the shield equivalent one is like basically a ballistic vest from like Modern Warfare 3, which is kind of interesting. Uh, you get limited inventory, but backpacks can be found to increase, so that's kind of like PUBG. Uh, weapon loot uh, has rarity, uh, and the depending on the rarity, your weapon may have different attachments. Higher rarity equaling better slash more attachments, so therefore you could have like, let's say a silencer on your one assault rifle that's legendary, so that way you can be quiet. Or you might get like a legendary, you know, uh, a, a gun that has like extended mags and rapid fire and fast mags all in one, you know. So that way you can like spray and pray constantly. Stuff like that. Now uh, this is subject to change, um, they're currently talking about whether or not that rarity def uh, def uh, affects the attachments. Or if it should be something they should just scavenge, kind of like PUBG, which I can understand why they would want to test out both. They don't really sound that bad. Um, consumable abilities such as the multiplayer specialist abilities, for example, Torque's Portal Barricade uh, will give you one use, so you can go around uh, with Torque's ability because you can play as all the characters in Blackout, like zombies character, specialist character, stuff like that. Um, instead of like a base character or default skin, you'll just be a character, kind of like Overwatch, I guess that in a sense. And uh, each character has their own ability, so you can run around with Torx's uh, ride shield thing once. Well, not, not the ride shield with the gun, but like the, the, the portal barricade like Rainbow. You can use that like once, you can use uh, Ruin's grappling hook for limited uses. That, I don't like the sound of that, because in 1v1 that might be annoying. Um, and then you can also use things like uh, the uh, guard dog for Nomad, which would act like Riley. And that in 1v1 scenarios might also be annoying. Uh, there's equipment such as a Recon RC and RCXD without explosives. Uh, you know, this is basically kind of like supposed to be like a way that you can uh, look out for enemies in advance. You can call in, uh, expose yourself temporarily, or uh, make yourself vulnerable. But you can uh, kind of use like a drone and rainbow to see like where somebody is, and that way you can uh, get a sne uh, be able to sneak up on them. So that way you know where they're hiding. Because keep in mind, there's going to be no building in this, so you'll be able to just look around the corner and be able to find somebody then. Um, so that's cool. Uh, then you can uh, find also monkey bombs, which is kind of acting like a decoy grenade right now. So they just took away the explosive part. That sounds interesting. Uh, 
Land, air, and sea vehicles have been seen in the teaser, but the ATV is the only fully functioning vehicle in the current build. So basically only uh, like land vehicles, which is kind of annoying and a little bit worrisome. It's like Thunder said in his video. Um, I try not to go word for word. I'm just trying to give my own thoughts and opinions, but the subject's interesting. Um, yeah, if there's only one vehicle operatable uh, so far in the game, like, I really want to know how far they are into this, because the game needs to be good at a launch, trust me, that a first impression does count. Uh, so far the gas mechanic is just the invisible barrier, uh, so that's just kind of lame, I guess. I mean, I kind of, I thought it would be kind of cool. I've heard uh, r rumors about, like, Nova Gas, I've, I've heard rumors about zombies coming in, I've heard rumors about, uh, like, the map just in general just has, like, kind of similar gas to, like, Fortnite, like the storm or whatever. You know, stuff like that. Uh, these are all subject to change, um, so that's kind of interesting. And then uh, wall players are uh, trying to like load into the map. Uh, it's either po possibly going to be via parachuting or a spawn system, such as Call of Duty Online. Call of Duty Online is the only one that's got a battle royale mode so far, I guess you could say. And in Call of Duty Online, the battle royale, you spawn, you don't actually select your own location, you just get one by random. And I really hope that's not the case for two reasons, and one of them is very serious. The first reason is that in general, I don't want to make it so that way, you know, I have to like spawn somewhere just randomly. Because if you're squatting with your team, who's to say that they'll, that your team will spawn in a good location? Or you might even not be next to your team, or the spawns might get, uh, you know, weird that way. You know, depending on how many people you have, even though the map might be bigger, you know, than most Call of Duty maps, the spawns we all know are garbage. So like you could spawn literally right behind somebody and that could be a problem. The second thing is too is that for the sake of balancing the map, let's say that you put all the loot that's really good in like one big area, kind of like a Tilted Towers equivalent, I guess you could say. Let's just say that randomly that that's Standoff or something. And let's say Standoff is the Tilted Towers of Blackout. And if you put all the good loot there and you make it so that way like, you know, a certain amount of players can all spawn there, but the rest of us are stuck at like, let's say, I don't know, you know, Nuketown, which is basically the equivalent of like Loot Lake, you know, where you're surrounded by water, you get slowed down, and there's not really too much space to go off of. That's not good. I mean, I get that that's completely random in RNG, but it should be a choice still. Like, you know, if you want to risk, you know, getting better loot and suiciding possibly into a whole bunch of people, like if you want to jump into that crowd 50 and try to be able to kill them all by getting better loot, that should be your choice, not just random luck. Because spawning in Call of Duty, you know, it's it's convenient sometimes, but not all the time. I don't want to, you know, spawn in a crappy area when I could have picked the better area and just risked fighting a whole bunch of people. Because then I don't get any good loot, and then that can affect whether or not I win the game. That's what I'm worried about, alongside the spawns. The spawns, I'm pretty sure will always be bad in Call of Duty, but I'm pretty sure they'll work, work it out if it gets bad enough. But in general, I just don't really like the sound of that. That's the one of the things that I'm uh, concerned about. And just as a side note, Thunder even mentioned this in his video. It's just like, what are the snipers going to be like in Blackout? I literally just got done watching Thunder's video. That's why I'm referring to it a lot. But like, I really, I really hope that the snipers are completely like Black Ops 3s in Blackout. Uh, you know, it doesn't even, I, I mean, I would like it in, you know, across the whole entire game. But if it has to be, you know, you know, old Call of Duty sniping where it's easy peasy, lemon squeezy, you know, I would like to have it in the whole game, but it, it has to be restricted from one. I would love it to be restricted from the blackout mode because I can't stand the idea of quickscoping ready as it is. But if people can 1v1 me and quickscope me and like one shot me in Battle Royale to win when like I'm just sitting here just spraying them down and they're just eating all my bullets, that's going to be so annoying. Same thing with a shotgun premise too. I really, really hope they find some way to balance the one shot weapons. Because with aim assist, it's just going to be completely broken. It's just going to be completely broken. Anyways, guys, this is basically today's video. I just wanted to share um, this news with you guys because I thought it'd be pretty interesting. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments. Do you think that this leak is real? Do you think it's fake? Do you think some of it's real? Do you think some of it's fake? Would you even want some of this stuff to be in the, the uh, blackout mode? Like, even if it's fake, would you still want to be in here because you think it would be a good idea? I think these uh, ideas, for the most part, are okay so far. I just want a finished pro project that's good at launch. You know, I don't want the game to be buggy, I don't want the game to be laggy. 
as much as it would suck to have like 50 players max in the game, you, like I have heard the comparison that, you know, in Fortnite, you know, even though it's 100 players, you still get like 60 within like a minute of the game because everyone's just clustered in one particular area and like 40 people die. So it makes sense. So really we we'll just get rid of that clustery, you know, start at the beginning of the game and, and just kind of like, uh, you know, make it where it's just like a little bit slower paced. But I don't want it to be too slow, if you know what I'm saying, because the map's supposed to be a, theoretically bigger than Fortnite. Uh, anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you all in my next video. Peace out, everybody.